guys welcome back to my channel <laughs> my husband Kyle here Yo. we are gonna talk about first reactions um, when it comes to finding out that I was pregnant so I've got some questions all right talk to me. Talk to me. <laughs> cuz you know yeah people don't ask the husband you know what I'm saying we go ask him today all right so the first question don't look at my question all right, go ahead. <laughs> the first question is when did it finally hit you that I was actually pregnant now I told I told him you gonna ask me in no 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 hold on I'm filling them in I told him September 9th 2020 mm -hmm. no that's when I found out I told him two days later on September 11 2020 Ooh, bad date um and so that gives you guys a and we're not we're eight months pregnant now so it gives you guys the kind of yeah. um, window um one more time what's the question <laughs> when did you when did it finally hit you hit that me, I was pregnant that you were pregnant. Uh, I think it finally hit me when I heard the heartbeat. I heard the heartbeat of the baby. Mm. Um, the first ultrasound that we had before we switched OBs. Mm -hmm. um, oh, the first first. The first one, yeah. Because you were at the first first. The heartbeat was what got me. All my friends yeah. were telling me, like, oh, man, when you see, you know, you see the baby, you see all of that stuff. We're not, I mean, you can't. You see where the baby is and stuff yeah. like that. Uh, you're going to cry. But for me, it wasn't until I heard the heartbeat. The woo, 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 woo. That thing was like, yo. Yeah. It's alive. He, you didn't shed a tear until no, 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 the no. second ultrasound at the new OB. Yeah, I didn't shed a tear until the gender reveal. Yeah, that's the gender I, reveal. That's when I, like, <laughs> that's when I teared up. And to yeah. this day, I will not know yeah. if the tear was because we found out it was a boy and he wanted a girl, or just that he was caught in the no, moment. No, because they finally to me to me that that one. Um, up until that point, it was the baby. It was mm -hmm. it could be a girl, it could be a boy. It's an it. Um, it was an it. Yeah. But the moment that they told us the gender, although I was rooting for I was rooting for a girl, um, although I was rooting for a girl. Um, when they told us that the gender, it stopped, the baby stopped becoming an it, and it became... A baby. A, our baby. Yeah. Our, the name of our kid immediately. You know, in my mind, I was like, man, I'm not looking at the baby anymore. I'm looking at, I'm looking at KJ. Yeah. Know? Junior. He's going to be a junior yeah. for y'all. Yeah. So... For those of you all that don't know. Yeah. Yeah. So that's when it, like, for me, I connected and was like, oh, there's a tear. <laughs> Cause it's KJ. So then they were like, oh, you know, look at his legs, look at this. And in my mm -hmm. mind, it was like, it's not just like its you can legs. see a baby it's, on it's the screen. It's KJ's legs. Yeah. You know? So yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I mean, I so time wise, that the first ultrasound, what, I think, was ten weeks. Ten weeks in, or was it like nine? It was in yeah, because it was in uh, the first ultrasound was in October because it was still warm outside. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, I was seven weeks then. October or September? We'll let y'all figure that out. <laughs> we just know. That, yeah, that, that the first mm -hmm. ultrasound was like a month or something after we found out. Right. And then the, the teary ultrasound was like two months? The teary ultrasound was... Second uh, trimester. Was December. Was it December? It was the beginning of December, yeah. Yeah. It was the beginning of December. Second oh week goodness. of December, actually. Okay, yep. do you feel like, no, do you wish that you found out when I did, or were you glad that I found out first? So, uh, I was cool with you finding out first. Okay. Because we had a scare. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Tell them about the scare. We had a scare um, that that summer, right? Was, it, was that summer? Mm-hmm. Like literally Dang. two months before. Yeah, two months before we had we had a scare. Yeah. We had a scare two months before, and um, at that moment we were both looking at the test, like looking at it, looking at it, looking at it. Mm -hmm. um, and the nervousness that came along with that, I feel like we we both experienced that part. Um, mm -hmm. So I didn't need to be, you know, I didn't need to know when she found out this time. I think it was pretty cool how she did it anyway, like. We both were just so shocked. Like, well, at yeah. least I was so shocked. I don't know how you reacted when you found out. But. I didn't think that I was actually pregnant. I was just like, oh, my body's still adjusting to the birth control. 
Let me pee on a stick just in case, though. <laughs> it ended up being positive, so... Yeah. yeah. But I'm glad that I found out. Uh-huh. I'm glad that I found out before you. Let's just say that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so next question. Mm-hmm. How did you feel about my nausea? So my nausea was really bad. Um, <laughs> just smelling him cook in the kitchen was just like... Oh, man. That was like the worst... That was the worst part of of the that was the worst part of pregnancy so far. At mm. least at least on my end because we went through weeks of not knowing what you could eat or what you couldn't eat. Yeah. Like <laughs> I remember I made some people like, "Yo, I just want some chicken. I just want some chicken." And so I was like frying some chicken. And she came into the kitchen and was like, Excuse me. It smells like grease. I don't want it anymore. <laughs> yeah. Like, she was like, No, like, it's literally making me throw up. Um, Nauseous. Because I didn't actually making, yeah, throw up. She didn't throw up. Just, yeah. Not but that once. time. But one time, yeah. Yeah. Um, but that was like, that was, to me was probably the, the, the craziest part just because you didn't know what was happening. Like, you know, one day you were eating everything, and then the next day it was like, pasta and taco bell and burger king like that's the only thing that she could eat you know so it was kind of weird trying to figure that out like i would cook something and be like i think and then she might eat it and then be like nah it's not happening um (laughs) so to me that like i felt like it it was kind of crazy for me because i was just trying to help but it's like you gotta it's all testing like that's Mm -hmm. all i tell my friends is like you're not gonna know what you know, your wife gonna or your girl is going to yeah. is gonna be cool with eating because it just kind of changes. Because then day. she... Then every she moment went of to, every day, actually. Then the next month, it was like, I don't want any pasta at all. Yeah, I got... Because I was Cause eating every so much, day. Yeah, so I was yeah. like, I'm tired of looking at pasta. Don't yeah. even put a noodle in front of me. <laughs> like, but it was crazy because like, she was so hungry mm-hmm. during the first trimester. So hungry, but couldn't eat like... Yeah. A lot. So we had Taco Bell. We got the Taco Bell app, and then I, you know, yeah. <laughs> we Fast get... food did not bother me, and that's what doesn't make any sense. Fast food did not make me nauseous. Right. It was more of things cooked at home because the grease smell, like something about the smell of grease, or I should call it grease oil. Oil. Any um, any type. If there was oil in anything, um. So yeah. So, like, one of the things we would normally eat a lot is, like, egg rolls and stuff. So, I was like, okay, let me, I can just make some egg rolls real quick. She smelled, like, the oil heating up. She was like, oh, no, nah, I can't do that. Um, anything, yeah. like, even, like, the air fryer stuff. I tried, tried some stuff in the air fryer. And it was just like, that smells like chicken. I don't want it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and it's tough because, you know, like, he's trying and you want to love him for the effort. But, like, I'm starving here. But, so, but listen, me once you figure out what she likes, <laughs> like, I think it was after, like, a week of us trying. And I think she had, she had had Taco Bell and Burger mm-hmm. King that week. I yeah. was like, all right. So what we about to do is we about to just get this app <laughs> and I'm going to put your order in here. And yeah. the moment you get hungry, I'm just going to pay for the pay for the food <laughs> and then um, yeah. and just go get it. And so like, you know, four, four, um, what was it? Four, seven layer burrito. They took the seven layer off. So we had to make four, seven layer burritos. Which made it more expensive. App. So I was like, I can't keep living this life. <laughs> hey, it, it worked though. It did work. It worked. It did work. Find what works. Find what works, man. That's all it was. Somebody get this man. <laughs> okay. See, you did what I told you. <laughs> okay, how did you feel about me losing weight? I lost about 15. I was about 170, and I dropped, I think, the lowest weight I got to. Was it 55? 55, yeah. 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 You said, how do I feel about you losing mm-hmm. weight? Mm-hmm. Um, like seeing me so hungry that I'm like losing weight. <laughs> yeah, I think I think for me, I think that was like I was nervous mm-hmm. because um, because I didn't know if it was because you weren't eating enough, but then there wasn't food that you could yeah. eat. I, I didn't know what it was because I, like I know you were sleeping a lot. You were you were sleeping a whole lot. Like you were exhausted the first trimester. Mm-hmm. Um. And 
and I knew it was because like the baby is mm -hmm. growing, it's but cool. school. But I also didn't know if it was because like you weren't eating as much, because that was also the time when like you would take like sometimes you would take a couple bites mm -hmm. and be like, Yo, I'm just so full. <laughs> <laughs> and then I come Which back. Never happens. Yeah, and then, and then like you would fall asleep. Eventually, wake back up, eat it. You know, stuff like uh -huh. that. I just didn't know. Like, I didn't know. And, and you were um, concerned about your weight as well. Mm -hmm. And so I was just, I never, like, I was, like, researching, like, yo, like, yeah. what does it look, you know, what is it healthy, what's not healthy. Speaking of your research, that segues into the next question. <laughs> Wait, what's that for? <laughs> How did you feel when you found out that I should not sleep on my back? Oh, uh, listen. listen, listen. <laughs> see? See? I became, I became the... Uh, back monitor <laughs> like dude I I just something in my spirit what? something in my <laughs> something something told me when we were asleep every time she would be on her back like every I would just pop up like hey 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 you gotta turn over baby you gotta turn over hey hey turn over and of course it would be like every right when I finally go to sleep zoom in on this every single oh my God. time <laughs> zoom in and post I every single time <laughs> like I, it, it was just something in my mind would be like get up like it could be like 3 o'clock in the morning I, I would be having a dream and in the dream somebody would walk up to me and be like Haley's sleeping on her back and I just wake up and then of course I just see my wife knocked out not on out. her back, and I just like, hey, hey, peacefully hey, sleeping, hey. mm -hmm. sleeping yeah. peacefully, which is yeah. funny because we talked to his mom later, and she was like, Well, the doctor told me I couldn't sleep on my left side, and I could only sleep could on my back and my back. right side. And we're like, What? I'm literally here, <laughs> and I'm, I'm a, a miracle. Little miracle, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so it just was kind of like, after that, I was like, Babe. So the compromise though was the compromise <laughs> was you were you were telling me the tilt like you could be at an yes. angle and again I didn't believe that so he didn't. like it wasn't until she talked to the doctor and the doctor was like yes you're you you you'd be okay yes but and even now it. that I'm eight months sleeping on my back at a forty five degree angle still like I feel like it puts pressure on my body mm. so I just I don't yeah <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was <laughs> that was a stressful month. <laughs> Two months? How long was it? Two, three? The trimester, so three. Months. Enough that I felt sleep deprived for a long time because he kept waking me up. <laughs> Always, man. Look, I would wake up, you know, go about my business, man. Come back in, look. She's right back again. I gotta wake her up now. <laughs> like it got to the point where one day I was like, "If you wake me up, I will." Hurt. We got, into a, we, got into, we, we got into a couple of arguments. Couple of fights. Couple of fights. Like, like I would yeah. finally be sleeping. Mm -hmm. And I was just yep. like, Why did you wake me up? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, and that's when and that's when and that's when you told me that you were like, dude, he kicks. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like like when I've been on my back too long, he'll kick. Or like my breathing would become suppressed. So yeah. like it it would be harder for me to breathe. And so my my body was just like reacting like, get off, get off, get off. Um, Cause I definitely woke up one night like, <gasps> like I couldn't breathe because and, I was on my back for so long. And my head was already up looking. I noticed. I was trying to my mind was just like, am I gonna tell her am I? Yep. Mm -hmm. Ugh, let me see. Mm -hmm. Oh, well I guess that answers my next question. My next question was, how did your sleep cycle change? But I guess uh, the answer is it's terrible. Every time I go to the bathroom. My, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I just like, it started off like being like, I felt like, oh man, this is, that's so sweet. Like, she got up one night to go to the bathroom and, um, and something was like, yo, make sure that like, she doesn't bump into your foot. Like, she, she could bump into your foot. And I was like, Sleep. Oh, because he was sleeping on the floor at that time because I needed to sleep elevated. Because oh, yeah. I kept sleeping on my back. Yeah. So I guess the compromise that, right? was yeah. elevate the bed and he was on a mattress on the floor. I was floor. on a mattress on the floor. <laughs> I had a mattress. 
And so, like, yeah. So she was tilted all the way up. Um, mm-hmm. I can't sleep like that at all. We should have bought the split bed. That's what yeah. we should have bought. But, um, so, I, yeah, I had a mattress on the floor, yeah. sleeping on the floor. And um, and I guess she had gotten up. But something just, like, again, I'm asleep. Something was like, hey, she can trip over your feet, move your feet. And I moved my, like, I literally moved my feet up. I woke up, moved my feet up. And then I, like, she walked by. Like, literally, the moment I moved my feet, she walked by. And so I was like... Oh, that's 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 so sweet. Like, oh man, like till he oh. realized I go to the bathroom every two hours. <laughs> every single time. Like even even to this point, like she'll go to the bathroom and I'll wake up and I just see her like walking past the bed to like I, uh-huh. I'm not on the floor no more, guys. But, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah, like I'll just see her like walking to the bathroom, um, or walking, going to get a snack or something like that. Um, I wake uh-huh. up, I go to sleep. But I realized, like, my sleep is different. It's not, like, a deep sleep anymore. It's, like, mm-hmm. it's lighter. If I take a nap, it's a deep sleep. Yes. But if I'm just sleeping at night, it's a lighter sleep. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if that's because, um, well, obviously, I think it's, I just want to make sure she's good. You and, I, and that KJ is good. <laughs> and especially now that we don't know when he could come. Yeah. It's just like, all right, like I know I need sleep, but it could happen. She's rolling time. over. She could be in labor. I actually don't think that. That's oh, crazy. really? Yeah, I don't think that. I she'd be looking at me like, like he'll be. <laughs> oh, see, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know, but I know. I Sometimes know... I'll just be like, go back to sleep. <laughs> just go back Wait to for sleep. Real? Yeah. See, I don't be knowing. <laughs> I just know. I just know that, like, I, I don't sleep like I used to. Which is code for we are not getting any sleep and these smiles are a blessing. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at the thing. <laughs> but yeah, we don't really sleep. Nah. We do, but it's like you said, it's light sleep. It's, it's not like deep, yeah. deep knocking out for so many hours you can't hear what's going on around you sleep. Mm-hmm. Those days are gone. <laughs> hmm They're they're long gone. Yeah. Yeah, but this is part one. If you guys want to hear more of his opinion, this was first trimester questions. Okay. Um, so then we get a second trimester. We got to do second trimester. trimester questions. I'm with it. Ooh, he's with it. <laughs> I don't but, know what I'm uh, doing. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, like, I think it's interesting because a lot of people don't ask men how they feel or how they transition through this process of watching their significant other. Um, mm-hmm. Or just partners in general, how how the partner feels in the situation of mm-hmm. my partner is pregnant. What do I do? <laughs> how do I feel about the fact that you're pregnant? You know. So yeah, this is uh. This is cool. This is cool. I'm with it. I'm with it. <laughs> Thank you guys. We'll see you next time. Peace. Bye.